Where'd you get the beauty scar, tough guy? Eating pussy? How am I gonna get a scar like that eating pussy? You know what I'm saying? You cut me, you cut me, bitch. You cut me, you know what's going down. Like, you feel me? You cut me, you stab me, it's gonna be some type of happening, you know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta get a cut. I'm Lucky Luciano. My cut was on some pimp shit. How about those apples? That niggas don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know about being out of town, fresh out of prison 2003. I'm out of town, Jay-Z album about to drop. We out there chilling, ah. I'm over here chilling, we rocking. Mafia shit. I'm in a motherfucking pizzeria. You go right there to the town, it's called Romeo's. You go there right there, nigga. Niggas, I was, look, I took over this shit just because of this shit. I'm like, this nigga, you know what I mean? So, I'm sitting at the table, I come inside, I'm about to buy a pie. Boom, club is over. Wednesday night. You feel me? I'm home for like two months. Niggas don't even know who I am, like, you know what I mean? That dude that, like, run the town, but you don't even know who the fuck I am. So I'm out there, chilling, got the little bubble shit, that's when the bubble shoes out, so you rockin' them, chillin' got the Timbs, ah, uh -huh, boom, boom. Got about four in the stack, like, we out here, I'm out here, I'm getting this guap. For D-Lo, Dolo, you know what I mean? No parole, that's maxed out, 2003. 50 this blue. We rockin', it's about October, it's like cold weather, like, it's cold weather. So I see motherfucker, I see the bitch peaches. Uh huh, what's up, baby girl? I be chilling. It's her and it's, and it's Snow White bitch. You know what I mean? So I'm fucking with Snow White bitch, Tina Marie. You know what I'm saying? I bought, yo, we bought, I bought them a couple pies. You know what I mean? Pie, we eating pie. We chillin'. I'm sitting by him. Everything cool. Nigga with the weak, look, little older nigga, fuck with these niggas, walk in. Bond. He over here trying to kick it. True story, worked to my grandmother. True story, he trying to kick it to these bitches. I'm not, I'm eating, I'm over there like, this bird nigga, you know what I mean, I'm home, he's some little bud, nigga like older than me, like about three years, something for some nigga that's like four, five, six years younger than him, that's what they do, but he supposed to be from Crooklyn, so you know I'm coming, so I'm chilling, ah uh ha, -huh, we bye bye bye, this nigga trying to talk to these bitches, these bitches ain't pay this nigga no more, they know me from this bitch to these bitches to all this shit that we do that we, you know what I mean, all this shit that we do from OT, they just know, yo, that's luck, bomb. Period. That's luck, Loach. That's lucky. That's nothing. When you think about it and shit you do in life, when you hurt niggas and you rip shit up and all that dumb shit, and that shit come back, you don't even know how it's coming back. That's what makes us weird. Like, it's, so anyway, so a nigga tried to talk to the bitch. Uh, these bitches ignore the nigga, son. So the bitch is like, yo, hell yeah, whatever, uh, whatever. So they're like, yo, I got Brad to go in his back pocket, pulls out a G. They know what we do, because this is what we do. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So they like, they feel like mad, like mad disrespected, like they like, ew, this nigga just trying to play me. So in the midst of him doing that, he dropped his pack. It was, come to find out, it was a, I'm gonna tell you later. So, nigga dropped his pack. I don't even know the nigga dropped his pack. This bitch sweeps the pack with her feet under the table. So this nigga over paid that he over know he got a dime, he talking shit. Yeah, I'm about that bread, flashing his bum ass, th like thousand dollars. So he leaves, goes out. He comes back in in like eight minutes. Like, bitch, what my shit? Ah! He dropped his back. But I don't know none of this. I'm eating. Whatever, I'm talking to the white girl. Because I'm like, I want to fuck this white girl now. Because I'm like, you know, he is a white girl. She look cool. She like me. I've seen her a couple times. She about to sign. So I'm like, yeah, I want to fuck this white girl. So I'm talking to the white girl. My homegirl, she blacking out. They they beefing. They beefing in the motherfucking shit. The owner screaming, get the fuck out the shit. So it is like, this nigga, after like beefing with the bitch for like eight minutes, 10, 10, 15, whatever, I'm like, she can hold her own. So I'm not even like, can't you know what I mean? I just seen this bitch fight. This bitch fight. She just caught a body. She just came home for catching the body. So when this shit happened 2003, it's 2013, you just might as well say that's 10 years ago. You feel me? We get to that other nigga in a minute. So boom. So they beefing outside, bye bye. The nigga leaves. She comes back in. She sits down. Like now they have everything cool. I'm like, fuck with these bird niggas. That's the first thing I told her. This nigga comes back with like eight niggas. Come inside the store, but come outside, bitch. We about to fuck you up. Bah, 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 bah. Remind you, he's older niggas. Like, the nigga, the, the nigga that he, the, the, the nigga I beef with, I, don't, I can't tell you what happened, but the nigga I beef with at the time, he know, like, he know, but he, I don't know if he know, 
Well, he know that she got it. <laughs> he, he had to know because he came back with mad niggas, son, and everybody drunk. It's one of them drunk nights. I was drunk too. I'm gonna keep it a thousand, but I'm official drunk. I'm up drunk. We up. Worked with my mother. Nigga tell the bitch, come out, come outside, bitch. Uh, this bitch, she's so cocky. Yo, yo, short bitch, who pretty brown skin bitch. Like, she ain't pretty like that, but she pretty in gangster world. Is a gangster, she's like a bad bitch. And she was a stripper at the time. And she, I, I became, I be, I, listen. For a minute, I had to, that was mine. You have to be mine, because you owe me a debt. So anyway, back to the true story. This bitch go outside, throw her hands up, swings at the nigga. When she swings at the nigga, the nigga bum rushed her. When he bum rushed her, I jumped up right out the chair and like, yo, chill. Now I'm like, chill. I had these niggas chilling for a minute. This bitch jumps out behind. I'm trying to calm her down. And the missile calm her down. They trying to rip her. I'm pushing these niggas. They trying to rip her. She jumps away from me. When she jumps away from me, they swung. Son swung. When he swung, he ripped me. He had a scalpel. So as soon as that shit touched me, that shit said split. You feel me? I don't like it was swing. Boom! I don't know what happened, but I was still trying to grab her, but she was already fighting. So I was like, boom! I was trying to get niggas off. It's like eight niggas. Try to get niggas off her. Niggas ain't budging and shit. Yeah, you definitely supposed to be over. Niggas, but niggas ain't budging and shit. So, in the midst of me getting niggas off her, I get bland. Boom! Hit one nigga. It's like me and her fighting. I hit one nigga, these niggas start running. I'm I'm licking up, so my shit just start. I know I know from experience of ripping a nigga. I'm drunk, so my shit just start pouring, cause like for real. Like I beef with the owner, all that. Like nigga, what the fuck, shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? Like beef with the owner, yo. It was one of the most craziest day of my life, son. Worked with my mother. I mean, I've been shot and all that, like all types of weird shit. But for that, stab, all that, like, but for that shit, that shit was crazy, that shit happened like that. I was like, oh, shit. And then, I went, whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Evans came, boom. I gave, I gave these bitches my ID, gave these bitches all the bread, gave the bitches everything. Went to, went to the hospital. They couldn't stitch a nigga up. So I had to stay there for a minute, then... That's when the police came to see me, and they was asking me, yo, you know, I was like, nigga, I don't know who the fuck cut me. They was like, well, we heard that we know who will cut you, all this other shit, and if anything happened to him, we're coming for you. Lucky. I was like, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, you, I'm, all, I'm over there like, I never touched my face, not once, but you know what I'm saying? That's why my shit is so pretty. You know what I mean? I ain't never touched it once. This shit is the most sexiest thing ever. But... At the point in time when it happens, I was highly upset. I was like, I can't believe I'm gonna have to do this shit again. So, when niggas found out that Jay-Z album had just dropped the next day, niggas was on their way down. I ain't even tell niggas to come. It was on, nigga. Bitches and all, we get it in. We knocking niggas door, yo. Knocking your door, be a bitch there. You feel me? And you open a fucking door, and you see a bitch, and I'm coming in. We coming in the goddamn, and niggas fuck, told me where this nigga was at. We coming for this nigga. Like, dead ass, like, on some word to my grandmother shit. I was in biblical rage, nigga. I came back, got my shit on still and itched up, went up top, changed a couple outfits, and I was right back on my way back down there, like, to this day. Ten years later, so you know what happened. If not, I ain't telling you, niggas. Stay tuned, pussy.